Hi, are you weighing up different career opportunities? Ever thought about a career in nuclear medicine and molecular imaging? A lot of people haven't heard of it. High school leavers have to weigh up the options, their skills, their interests, and the opportunities that present. But when I ask high school students about nuclear medicine, they usually don't know what it is. Even patients in hospitals can be unsure what nuclear medicine is, even when they've had nuclear medicine procedures themselves. And everyone knows what a radiographer does, taking x-rays of the structure of bones and other organs, looking for trauma or fractures. And that's because most of us have had an x-ray during our lifetime, because we take risks and fall down. We get hurt playing sport or exercising. We have accidents, especially if we're not paying attention. Babies and children hurt themselves or get sick, and sometimes our jobs cause injuries. In nuclear medicine and molecular imaging, we look at the physiology of organs and tissues. We also look at molecular level imaging and therapy. Some patients have childhood diseases. Some have injuries that confound x-ray, like stress fractures associated with exercise. Most patients, however, have diseases associated with aging. So most high school students have not been exposed to nuclear medicine. A career in nuclear medicine and molecular imaging sees you using some of the most amazing technology in the world, some of the scanners that we use. Um, to provide imaging of patients. Um, obviously, that involves patient care, as well as the use of IT and computing technology to be able to do the acquisition and processing of data, and of course, administration of radiopharmaceuticals to the patients. If you study nuclear medicine and molecular imaging at university, you do subjects in atomic and nuclear physics, instrumentation, computer science and digital systems, you learn about artificial intelligence, You'll do subjects in radio pharmacy and pharmacology, psychology, do a lot of study in patient care. But in parallel to that, you learn about sustainability, global citizenship, cultural competence, digital literacy, evidence-based medicine, collaboration and collegiality. And so you end up with a career that's very rewarding and you develop some really good social bonds with your colleagues. Nuclear medicine and molecular imaging is about understanding the atomic and molecular nature to safely administer radiopharmaceuticals using good hygiene control and infection control. Specifically, we image the function and molecular changes that impact organs associated with different diseases. Some of the examples might be performing stress tests on patients to understand heart disease, looking at lung disorders, musculoskeletal disorders, neurodegeneration in the brain, changes in function in gastrointestinal tract, kidney diseases, endocrine diseases like the thyroid, and we can also look at the diagnostic and therapeutic applications in oncology. But there's many more applications as well. Nuclear medicine and molecular imaging provides job-ready graduates that are in high demand with great starting salaries, highly qualified in general nuclear medicine, SPEC, SPEC CT, PET, PET CT and PET MRI, standalone CT, radiopharmacy, radionuclide therapy and theranostics, and of course, in patient care. So if you want a career that helps people, makes a difference, and gets to play with cutting edge technology, maybe nuclear medicine's a career for you. Studying nuclear medicine and molecular imaging at university offers internationally recognized qualifications with a reputation for quality graduates and academic expertise. Study in a positive learning and social environment with flexible but authentic learning.